So I forgot to talk about that footage I lost the other day. Oh yeah, welcome to the vlog. Anyway, that footage I lost the other day from, from, from Monday, it was, uh, I left in the middle of the day before I went grocery shopping and I needed to get some gas. I knew that my car was super low on gas from, you know, last time I drove it before the weekend. And it said two empty, zero miles, but usually that gets you between like 20 and 40 extra miles. So I wasn't too stressed about it. And I was just going, I was trying to get to Costco for the super cheap gas. Anyway, I get on the freeway, I'm using the on-ramp to get on the next freeway, and blah, blah, blah. the accelerator stops where it was weird. I've run out of gas once or twice before. Now, it hasn't happened in like over a decade. It's super bad for your car, and I'm usually pretty mindful of it. The first time it ever happened, I was driving a friend's car, and she didn't tell me that it was empty. <laughs> and uh, the other time it happened, my, my old car, my, my Mustang, the fuel gauge was just a little off, so it, unless you you know filled it up at like a half a tank, you're always driving a little risky. <laughs> anyway, the car didn't just shut down, it was still running, but the accelerator wasn't doing anything. I was like, what, what the heck? You know, normally when you're out of gas, you're chug, 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 and it just kind of stops, but this, it was still running, my RPMs were up, but the accelerator didn't do anything, so I, I shifted into neutral, and then I tried to downshift, and, and nothing was working, nothing was working, so I kind of coasted to a stop at the end of the on-ramp intersection interchange and and pulled over turn it off tried to start again it wouldn't start and I was hoping I was figuring it was the gas but but I was a little nervous because it was kind of a weird reaction to running out of gas anyway at least in my experience anyway I called AAA they came super quick the guy got it you know gave me a, gave me some gas I went and filled up and life was good after that it was definitely frustrating because it kind of threw a wrench you know it made more time out of the middle of my day that that I should have been doing other stuff, but I mean, it was my fault. It was just silly and stupid. Like I said, I haven't done that in like over a decade, so knock on wood, I don't ever do that again. Because <laughs> it is very bad for your car. Don't let your car run out of gas. But what are you going to do? It's all good. <laughs> did it again. So I've got this friend named Peter Spray. He's a, he's a big time jazz guitar player and composer and he owns a studio here in San Diego. And he's been around forever. He's played all around the world with a bunch of people. Look him up, link below. He's always been a really good friend and mentor and, and I used to work with him and just doing stuff around the studio and, and gigs and stuff. Anyway, uh, a handful of years ago, four, five, six years ago or something, he, he hooked up with this gal who's my age who I think she was raised in Texas, she was living in Boston at the time, I'm not sure if she's still there now. Anyway, she was super, super talented kind of folk singer, guitar player, just really hip. And Meg and I both really dug her for a while, and we would, so every time she came to town, you know, Peter and her would play together, and we went and saw them, and I think Meg even saw her once in New York when she was living there. Anyway, we dug her music, and I loved it for so long, and then just totally forgot about it. Earlier today, I was poking around iTunes looking for something to listen to, and I was doing some kind of kind of busy work stuff, nothing that required a whole lot of attention, but I wanted to, you know, listen to something and get pumped. And I found found her little section in my iTunes, and I'm like, oh shoot, I haven't listened to that in forever. I turned it on, and oh my god, she's so good. Her name, I don't think I've said it yet, her name is Emily Elbert. I'll link below. You must check her out because she is super talented, way fun. The the writing is is catchy but it's also smart uh, on like the musician front. And I, so it kind of pleases you know casual listeners and it pleases musicians alike because there's some cool technically technical stuff in there. Anyway, check her out, Emily Albert. I was stoked to kind of rediscover her today and I think you'll be excited to, to hear some of her stuff as well. So 
I spent the majority of today doing some writing and then a bunch of freelance work. Uh, this project is actually, should have been a really small one, just a couple hours. It's actually ended up taking a few weeks. Not that I've been working on it consistently for those weeks, it's just that it there was a big problem and I had to get in touch with the developers, but before the developers I had to talk to the people who originally did the website. It's just been a big mess, so I mean, cumulatively, I probably still have only spent, I don't know, five or six hours or something on it, but it's just like been spread out, you know, like, oh, 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, it's just it's been kind of wacky. Anyway, finally got to the bottom of that and I'm able to actually do, to fix the problem that was stopping me from doing the work. So now I'll be able to do the work, it's gonna be great. I'll probably finish it tonight, maybe first thing tomorrow morning. Anyway, I'm going to spend the rest of the day, see Meg has to work late tonight. So it's just me and Walter, actually, we're going to have another dog here, our neighbor, our friend's dog is staying with us for the next week or so, so I'm going to pick him up in a couple hours here. But it's just going to be the three of us dudes hanging out, and I'm going to use it tonight to just work late, you know, at least until Meg gets home around 8, 8.30, something like that. But I blocked off this entire time, I want to start learning Adobe Premiere. You see, back when I worked for the music publisher, and I was doing some video work there, we had a really nice uh, setup with Final Cut Pro. It was, I think it was 7, that was the latest we had there. We never upgraded to 10. We had the whole Final Cut studio, and I, you know, I learned everything in there, I was working well on it. And then, once I started doing this myself, and actually, you know, six months ago or so, when I was filming and editing all the videos for Guitar Chord Kickstart, I didn't want to shell out, you know, 300 bucks for Final Cut 10, and I just used iMovie. It's free, and it worked great, and that's actually all I've been using since I started vlogging, is iMovie. Maybe I should admit that, maybe that's embarrassing, but I don't know, I, I think they have turned out well, and it works, and it's easy, it's quick. But, I want, I've been wanting to step my game up, I've been wanting to, you know, have some more tools and customizations at my disposal, and, but I still didn't want to dump, you know, several hundred dollars on Final Cut Pro, or 10. And then I realized, oh man, I have the Creative Cloud subscription for, you know, for Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, for when I'm doing any of that type of work, Dreamweaver. And with that, I have access to Premiere Pro, which is, you know, one of the industry standards next to Final Cut and Avid Media Composer, or whatever that one's called. Um, and I've actually heard a lot of people, especially people who are still using Final Cut 7 because they never wanted to bump up to 10, or people who are using Final Cut 10, I've heard a lot of people who actually would like to switch to Premiere, but they don't want to learn a new program, so they just kind of stick with what they have. I figured, what better time than now, since I don't want to drop the money on Final Cut 10, even though I'm a huge Apple guy and I liked Final Cut 7, I have access, with my monthly membership to Creative Cloud, I have access to Premiere. So why not just start learning that? Anyway. Long story long, I am spending the rest of today, I just want to start learning Premiere. I don't know that I'll use it for today's vlog, for editing. Maybe I should, it'll be a good way to jump into it, but right now I'm just I'm watching tutorials, I'm learning the program, I'm trying to trying to soak it all in. So, And hopefully in the next you know couple days to the next week or so, I'll be stepping up my, my vlog game, my editing game a little bit. Like I said, we've got uh, our friend, our neighbor's dog, hanging out with us for the next week, and him and Walter are buds, and they play a lot when we meet outside, but they've never, other than one time, like a year ago or something, woo, they've never, never hung out for any extended period of time. Uh, I watched Eli once, like I said, about a year ago. For an afternoon or something, but they've never had like full-on long-term playtime. And Walter loves having buddies, and Eli likes Walter, so I think we're gonna have some fun. What's up, dudes? Come on, come. Thank you. 
Thank you.